Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to inference Llama 3.1 LLM by Meta AI. Now if you look at here on my screen, I have a couple of Google Colab notebook open. I also have a web page called olama.com. So the question here is, how can I inference Llama 3.1 LLM? So you can do it by different ways. One is an the bigger model 405b which is out of the scope for this video but 8b and 70b is something that most of you can inference at least 5 to 10 percent of you can inference 70b but 80 to 90 percent of you can inference 8b model and that's what i'm going to show in this video and also 405b in the coming video where we're going to deploy that on run pod on 18 to 8 h 100 now in this video the first is that you go and uh, have a decent GPU for uh, Llama 3.18b. If you don't want to load the model in four bits or any n bits where n is a lower value, then you need at least 24 GB of VRAM. So you need at least L4 if you are in Google Colab. But if you load it in some bits quantized using Unsloth VLLM, Llama CPP or bits and bytes, you know, like standalone, then you can do that on T4 as well, Tesla T4 when it comes to Colab. So I just have installed here Transformers. I have, you know, uh, imported this, logged in, and I'm going to now. So what I'm doing here, Meta Llama 3.18b instruct. So I'm taking the instruction model, you know, which is like for the fine tune for chat. Now we have have we are using the transformers pipeline right now the default so we are not doing anything different here you know not using any frameworks like unsloth or anything like that now and we are using the text generation pipeline and we have our model id which is nothing but this model and have a bf16 floating point because we are on l4 so l4 on a100 you can use bf16 if you are on other gpus probably it might not support so you have to be attentive when you want to use bf16 and f16 and then I have device which is CUDA. It means that it's going to leverage that, it's going to load the model into a GPU, so which has CUDA installed. It takes a bit of time because it has to download a lot of you know, files from Hugging Face, and these are the bigger files that you see. Now, what I have next, I have a messages where I have a role which is user role, and then content where you write a question. So I was trying, you know, different. Questions, guys, I was testing it out on different data sets uh, myself. And my question that I'm asking is write Python code to fine tune, fine tune Whisper model on local data sets. So, Whisper is an open source each piece to text model by OpenAI. Very underrated model, guys. People kind of, a lot of people, they jealous of OpenAI because they always say that, you know, it's proper, you know, it's closed source and it's, it has given a lot of open source, more open source than closed source to the community. So, unnecessary hate is not required. All of us use chat GPT. I think it's very difficult to, you know, work at the workplace if you have access to chat GPT. The behavioral changes that we have seen, we already started using it and the credit goes to them the way they have engineered the system. You don't use Gemini, to be honest. We use chat GPT. There's a reason for it, by the way. Now, I'm asking this question that how can we fine tune Whisper model on a data set that we have locally? So if you have one hugging face, like an audio format, a dictionary or a dict, a dictionary that you have that's a different that's easy a lot of people train on uh, common voice by mozilla foundation that's easy to do it but i'm asking python code to fine tune whisper model on local data sets so if i run this that's what i'm trying to do and i have a max new tokens of 1024 and i have passing my messages and using the pipe variable and i'm just running it here now once you run it it takes a bit of time Know, and it sets some pad tokens and end of stop token ID and whatever you know here and it takes a bit of time to generate the output once you have the output you can just run this uh, output zero generated text and content to get that get that output only the output okay now if we just do the outputs after this for example because we, we're gonna basically parsing it in the next line but you can also do it so you can see on an L4 it takes around you know 30 to 35 seconds or 40 seconds sometimes as well you know to generate the output on an l4 gpu which is a which which can be 
which can be seen as a consumer GPU if you have a hundred which is better if you because we are here loading the base foundation like a base model I will say the foundational model the instruct one of the foundational model but the instruct model with the uh, without any quantization now if you load this in 4 bit and then run it then it will be faster so you can see it took around 45 seconds for that now if you if you print the outputs it gives you this uh, list where it has a lot of key values paired to it has a schema all around here that you see now what I'm just doing it I'm just parsing it out getting this generated text that you see and in generated text I have minus one and the content which is this content so this is what I'm doing so let me just do it here and once I do it I'm just gonna print the assistant response over here so you can see I print the assistant response let's validate it okay the output it says fine-tuning a pre-trained whisper model on a local data set involves several steps including preparing the data set which is right loading the pre-trained model from github repository or wherever and then training the model on your local data sets the libraries that are required are transformers torch and torch audio and you can install them so basically you install it like this and it says assume a data set of audio files in a directory named audio data with corresponding text labels in a file and file name transcripts.txt should have whatever so it basically gives you the code here we all the imports tells you to be on gpu loads the pre-trained model the tokenizer and everything and then looking at the data sets audio data and transcripts.txt and then has a custom data set class so this class basically prepare the data set for you that you can see it over here and then we have length of audio files some uh, getting the IDs and then loading the files pre-processing the both the audio and transcription if you have ever worked with Hold on for a second uh, I think if you fine-tune whisper you need to you need to down sample the audio to 16,000 uh, If I'm not wrong, I don't see it anywhere. So basically assume that you, you should have 16,000 that is fine Create data sets, load the model, blah blah blah. This all looks good. Okay, and then then does it. So this is one way you can inference. Looks like a good thing here. But the next thing is we have something called unsloth. So unsloth is one of the most important open source. Uh, I'll say a, like a, like a framework. It basically helps you on the optimization they use techniques like rope scaling and so on and so forth so basically helps you inference uh, these LLMs uh, you know faster on a compute limited device so what they have done they have created a uh, basically an, like a gradual chat application for you so you can just run this first what you are doing git cloning this studio they call it unsloth AI studio that you can see a studio chat for llama 3.18b and then then you have to open and then just execute the code so when and it takes a time to go it has to install the library and everything and once it is done it opens a gradio app for you okay and you can also change it to open it in an external file you can go in that uh, source file and make say request to true and then it you can open it in an uh, in an, a new tab but here what it does it installs everything and it shows you uh, a gradio application which is a faster way of you know uh, testing it out guys so these LLMs you can test it out here you can also test it out on hugging face spaces there are multiple spaces where you can test out these LLMs on your problem statements on your questions and then you can make sure to use that LLM for rag or for you know fine tuning or for any other production level application so first is testing so it's taking a bit of time so let's wait for it meanwhile what I'm gonna show you is it takes time the other way that if you want to do it locally or in collab is Olama so if you look at here Olama I'm on olama.com slash library slash llama 3.18b it has some description already more than 245k people have pulled this to download it basically and this is how you have to do it olama run llama 3.18b now if you want to use 8b you use this command if you want to do 70b this will be 70b over here you can see this is how you should pull it and if you want 405b you can pull it like this 
they have a readme where they explain everything how much of compute is required the evaluation benchmarks is required and everything has been given you know, over here now i already have done so what we have to, if you don't know how to install olama let me first show you so you have to click on this download once you click on this download olama it asks you for which operating system do you use so if you are using windows just click on this if you are on mac os click on this if you're on linux they will give you a command to install it now if you're on windows i already am on windows i have installed so download and double click and install now after that open your terminal and then just run olama run llama 3.18 p it runs on a port okay uh, it runs on a port so you can also use it locally you can you can use it in your you can make an api call basically open ai compatible it has langchain integrations you can use url request whatever you want to do it now it has olama run llama 3 it downloaded all the model you can see and then i asked the same question write python code to fine tune whisper speech to text model on local data sets and it has given me an answer a bit different this time by the way you can see the data set, data set uh it's a bit different like it's a list where you can keep your audio and transcriptions and in my view i like this response better than the previous one to be honest uh and yeah this is this you can follow along and you can just uh test it out here it explains you can keep on asking next question how to how to cook a pizza or something and then it basically start generating you the output so it depends on what kind of uh machine that you have if you have 32 gb 16 gb ram whatever ram that you have depending on that it basically works sometimes it's really really slow Right now, the system that I'm using, it has very, very com uh, limited compute. So it, even I'm not wait, gonna wait for this, but it takes time. Sometimes if guys, if not working for you, then you have to stop this and then start it. Sometimes it basically, you know, is stuck. But I'm gonna go back on unsloth here. And you can see it says loading. So our unsloth is now loading. It will load the app and you can ask questions. So if you look at here, it's a Gradio application. If you don't know Gradio, Python library to build like a uh, interfaces you know you basically build uh web, web interfaces ui and stuff you know using that now you can here ask questions you can see my system is like not responding but you can ask question here what is uh agi and when you ask this question it basically responds something so you can see it's processing And you can see it says AGI stand for artificial general intelligence. It refers to a type of AI that possesses the ability to understand, blah blah blah. And basically, answers you can test it out here. You can give it difficult, but let me ask this question. Okay. Write five dictionary English word. Write five dictionary words in English. Uh, where each word starts with a letter E and ends with a letter N. Now I'm asking this question just to see the reasoning capability of Llama 3.1 8B model. Didn't work. So probably I'm not asking the question right away. But as a, if you ask this question to a five, five class kid, they will answer it in one go if they if they are good in study. So failed in my sense. Failure guys, Lama 3.18b for this question at least. Now I can try it out. I can ask this in different way until I get this trick. But if you ask this to a human, try it out, you know, with your with your one of the kids that you have, by the way, or the, your younger brothers or whoever. You ask this question. Let me remove this. Write a letter. Is, where it, each word starts with a letter E and ends with, let me remove this. And probably it will get this time correct. So I'm just trying the different samples. And probably it will get it right here, you know, this time. No, it, it didn't work out. So performing on human eval and window granite and squad and whatever, but I don't know, whatever I'm saying, you know, MMLU and stuff has no value in my eyes, guys. I'm not being, you know, like I'm not saying this in arrogant or, you know, in that way. Evaluating on those published benchmark data set has no values in my eyes. 
give it in my hands and other researchers and developer hands and we test it out let me know what else you want me to test in the comment box uh, to make this correct okay it didn't work out for me so uh, so these kind of questions you have to ask to understand raising capabilities not looking at human eval or you know our mmlu kind of a thing you know, to do that by the way this guy is still stuck so I basically yeah but i'll just stop this you know you know you can just stop this and try it out yourself just run o llama run llama llama 3.18b and then it will start, start manifesting blah 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 my system is extremely slow locally so i will not run it but I hope you got the idea here guys so let me know your thoughts and findings on llama 3.18b and that's all for this video guys i'm also coming up with a couple of other videos on llama 3.1 model fine tuning and also uh, multi gpu uh, deployment on run pod if you have any questions thoughts on this video let me know in the comment box you can also reach out uh, to me through our social media channel find those links in uh, channel banner and channel about us if you like the content please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in the near future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one